what's up everybody it's your boy charles young also known as open thoughts hey follow me on openthoughts.com that's open t-h-o-t-s dot com um so something i want to talk about that i wish i really didn't have to talk about um is i've been look checking out you know looking at the internet checking out new different stories and stuff and i'm seeing a lot of stories about individuals killing their children um it's really it's really bothering me a lot because you know Children didn't ask for the type of life that you're you're giving them. You know, they didn't ask to be here. You asked for them to be here. And it's kind of very interesting that you could have a carry a baby for nine months and then just treat them as such as they're not even a part of you or you don't even care. You're being careless. But I feel that where this stuff stems from is a lot of comes from what we watch in TV. And the reason why I feel this way is I remember I was having a conversation with one of my friends and, and we were watching this movie, I guess it was, I think it was Insidious. Uh, um, I think it was Insidious and it was about these kids uh, who got possessed and, you know, they died and all this stuff and the evil things were coming through them. But at one point they were showing so many negative movies about children being evil and terrible. And then, and then I told him as we were sitting and watching this movie, I was telling him, I said, listen, man. Watch what's going to happen. With all these movies with these evil children, guess what? They're going to start killing kids off. And I told them that. And, you know, I said it. And, you know, a year later, I've seen so many stories in one week about children getting killed, left in the car, murdered, shot, abused, uh, raped, uh, thrown in cellars. And I'm thinking to myself, what is going on? So honestly, what I feel is that it's something that is in the TV that's making, that's bringing these spirits out of in these individuals and just doing, just demolishing their kids. I mean, watch this, which also goes back to watch what you're watching because you never know. These individuals may love these type of movies and like this stuff and like this energy built around them. My mother always taught me, she said, watch what you, be careful what you're watching because you never know what type of spirits you're bringing on. And it's not a religious thing when I say you're bringing on spirits because some individuals cannot handle things. You can have spirits of of so many different things. You could be playing a video game, somebody turn your video game and you'll just snap on them. And that's the truth. So, might turn your TV show off, you snap on them. And, but you don't know what type of spirit you're actually bringing in when you're watching and consuming this. We know a lot of children listen to a lot of music. We listen to music, and music is just like a soundtrack to life. It changes your emotion. Every time you're going through something, it changes your emotion. Well, TV does as well. It's a control. It's called television programming. So, it programs some thought into you. They've done a lot of research and tests on monkeys about certain situations where one group of monkeys were watching one thing and the other group of monkeys were watching people do violent things on TV and guess what ended up happening? The monkeys who were watching the violent things start doing violent stuff. The other ones who were watching the positive things start doing positive stuff. So if that could happen in the animal kingdom, what do you think has happened to you? Because their monkeys are the closest thing to us. I'm not calling us monkeys because I ain't no damn monkey. <laughs> but what I am saying is I uh, when it comes to these children, I don't know why people are not understanding that we need them to survive. I don't know why you're locking them in a car. Yeah, I remember back in the day, my mom put us in a car and, and, you know, me and my cousins, we had to stay in a car and we had the windows roll down. But, you know, at the same time, it was a different, completely, a different time. I don't know how these kids is dying in a car now, but it's just kind, it's just, it's just so crazy to me that that individuals are not taking precaution with all these stories going on because you know they have to be watching TV or somebody has to be telling them a report and then you go out the next the following day and then you have a situation where you uh, 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 mistreat your child to the point that they die and it's just it's just crazy the children's lives mean something to us without children we cannot grow and evolve as a society we can't grow and that's honestly that's what society that's what these higher ups in society wants from us to destroy. They want to, us to destroy. And what's the best way to kill off anything? You destroy your children. So it's very interesting because that's almost, that's close to what they say is how do you kill a tree? You don't, you don't kill a tree from the top. You kill it at the root of the tree, right? So if you kill a tree at the root, 
and you kill your child, your child is an extension of you, which basically is a root of you. So when you kill off your root, they put you in jail. They make financial revenue off of you being in jail. Plus, you got to pay all the money to the fire, to the funeral home. They make money off of you. You're building capital for individuals on stuff that doesn't, that could have never happened if you only took certain precautions. And now you're making other individuals sad. The insurance company got to get into it. You, you're building capital and revenue gains for individuals. <laughs> the court system you're benefiting the system that's already against you. But this all can stem from what you're putting in your spirit, watching TV, the music, because I don't understand how any individual could just kill a kid. I, I really don't understand that. It's understandable if you got in a car accident, you know, uh, you had somebody else watch your child that's not responsible enough. Uh, but for you as a parent to kill your child, it's ridiculous. So what I want to say is stop killing your damn kids and pay attention to what you're putting into your spirit because it all attaches back to what they're doing to these kids. I honestly believe that it's coming from whatever they're putting out there on TV. This is why I tried. This is why actually not really try. I don't really have TV. <laughs> so I don't watch TV. So with the fact of not watching TV, I'm not bringing in all of these spirits, you know, right now. I'm working to get somewhere, you know, and TV is a distraction, but individuals who are not working to get somewhere is probably consuming all this junk, all this trash that they're putting into their, their system, and then they're forgetting about what they need to do for their child. So, therefore, what I'm saying is, please, parents, please, please stop killing your kids, man. Stop killing your kids. Also, I want to give a shout out to the guy who sat in the car to show what the issue was about leaving your kids in the car. Uh, I really appreciate that, man. That's a guy, he took a stand. And, you know, I don't even know who this individual is, but I want to give a shout out to him because he took a stand and actually want to want to actually show you what they go through. So I thank you. Follow me on OpenDots.com. Follow me on Blogger, or, um, Blogger uh, my Facebook, my Twitter. Follow me. Just, you know, follow me, man. We're going to keep pushing. I want to keep getting truth out to individuals, asking individuals so we can enlighten. Also, check out on my OpenThoughts.com page, uh, the Health for Wealth. It's very quick information, so you can get some information if you want to start just losing weight. Most likely, I care more about individuals who want to actually lose weight. So, um, and then, you know, as time goes on, we know that, you know, you build your muscles and, and all that stuff. You can find all that stuff. But I just want individuals who really want to lose their weight. So I thank you, and you guys have a good one.